With that being said, I'd like to move to today's first resolution, American Stroke Month. Madam Secretary, would you please read it into the record? Whereas the Board of County Commissioners of St. Lucie County, Florida, has made the following determinations. A stroke is the leading cause of serious long-term disability and the fifth leading cause of death in the United States. Between 2012 and 2030, total direct annual stroke-related medical costs are expected to increase from $71.55 billion to $184.13 billion. And overall, total annual costs of stroke are projected to increase to $240.67 billion by 2030, an increase of 129%. Nearly 80 million Americans have high blood pressure, which is a major controllable risk factor for stroke, including 44% of African American adults, among the highest prevalence of any population in the world. More than half, 58%, of Americans don't know if they are at risk for stroke. One in three Americans can't recall any stroke warning signs or symptoms. The fast warning signs and symptoms of stroke include face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty, and time to call 911. And beyond fast, additional stroke warning signs and symptoms include sudden numbness or weakness of the face, arm, or leg, especially on one side of the body, sudden confusion, trouble speaking or understanding, sudden trouble seeing in one or both eyes, sudden trouble walking, dizziness, loss of balance, or coordination, and sudden severe headache with no known cause. On the American Stroke Month Day of Action, May 1st, 2018 throughout May, and year-round, the American Stroke Association's Together to End Stroke Initiative encourages Americans to learn their personal risk, stroke risk, memorize and share the stroke warning signs, and call 911 at the first sign of a stroke. New and effective treatments have been developed to treat and minimize the severity and damaging effects of strokes, but much more research is needed. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Board of County Commissioners of St. Lucie County, Florida, this board does hereby proclaim the month of May 2018 as American Stroke Month in St. Lucie County, Florida, and urge all residents of St. Lucie County to familiarize themselves with the risk factors associated with stroke, recognize the warning signs and symptoms, and on first sign of a stroke, dial 911 immediately so that we might begin to reduce the devastating effects of stroke on our population. Passed and duly adopted this 15th day of May 2018. Is there a motion? Move, Move approval. Second. There's a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. On a personal note, I'd just like to emphasize the importance of this resolution where it says to um, immediately call 911. So many times, unfortunately, many of us try to pass off those little signs, <clears throat> and it's important to not pass them off because time is usually of the essence. At this time, I'd like to invite Amber Kitty with Mark Memorial. The Stroke Coordinator at Mark Memorial Hospital, along with Melissa Wade with the American Heart Association, and our very own Mike. Good morning, thank you for having me. My name is Melissa Wade. I'm with the American Heart and American Stroke Association. We set out to accomplish two things, save and improve lives. Uh, our partners in healthcare play a large part in our efforts by providing quality care to the community. One of those partners is Martin Health System. And I'd like to introduce you to Amber Kitty, a stroke program coordinator, to say a few words. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. My name is Amber Kitty, and as Melissa alluded, I'm the Stroke Program Coordinator for Martin Health Systems. We're here today because May is National Stroke Awareness Month. As the uh, proclamation indicated, stroke is the fifth leading cause of death and the number one leading cause for long-term disability. So although we're doing better at saving people's lives, we're not necessarily doing better at saving quality of life, and that's really the key here for wanting to increase community awareness. Martin Health sees over 500 strokes every year. So that's a quick indication on how prevalent this disease is in with our local community. We want to know uh, everyone to know that 80% of strokes are preventable with healthy lifestyle changes. And we encourage you to learn more about your own risk factors for stroke. <clears throat> By knowing the fast signs and symptoms, 
um, you can help to save a life. And you can use that acronym anytime you think someone may be having a stroke. F stands for facial drooping. So ask someone to smile. See if one side of their face is different. A stands for arm weakness, extremity weakness. If you ask that person to lift both arms and hold them for 10 seconds, if one drips, that's a, a good indicator that a patient may be having a stroke. S stands for speech difficulty. So not only slurring of speech, but also garbled speech. Sounds like somebody may be having uh, marbles inside their mouth or difficulty understanding speech, all of those are signs. And the importance of calling 911, time. Time is essential with this population. Every minute a patient goes untreated for stroke, you're losing millions and millions of brain cells. And those cannot be replaced unless we quickly treat them. 911 is the absolute fastest way of receiving timely treatment. Please do not drive yourself. Do not drive your loved ones. Make sure that you activate the emergency response team. They're specially trained in how to assess these patients and how to transfer them, and also with pre-alerting the emergency response teams at the hospitals that you're receiving. So this indicates that the, the hospitals will absolutely activate their emergency teams prior to your arrival. We hope you leave this room today knowing how to identify a stroke and learn more about your own risk factors at strokeassociation.org. Thank you for having me. I'm Mike Claus, St. Lucie County's Television's Coordinator. Thank you, Madam Chair, Commissioners. Uh, I am a nine-year stroke survivor now. This is my ninth year this, pet this May. Um, I like to give you all just a little insight each year that I do this to what different things we have to deal with as a survivor. And this year I'll be quick because I know we have a lot to get to. Um, I get a lot of times when I'm walking down a hallway here, somebody will go, oh, wow, man, it must be nice to wear shorts. And I'm going, well, you know, there's reasons why. So my reason is because I deal with my post-stroke symptoms of thalamic pain syndrome where my entire right side is numb. I have my strength. I don't have any facial drooping that, that's left over. Um, I still am pretty cognizant, although my wife begs to differ. <laughs> um, so I do it because the less material I have hitting against my skin, it's the less pain I feel. The slightest thing is taking a shower, getting out with a nice soft cottony towel is like coarse sandpaper that's been set on fire when I do my right side. Uh, it's not fun, but I'm here. I do it for my family. I do it for my friends to let them know as well for awareness, and I thank you again for this proclamation. <laughs>